Hello, I am Professor Georgia. Just for today, legal reasons, not an actual professor. But today, I'm going to show you how soap can save an otter's life. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Let's get started. Before we get to the cute otters or even the soap, this video starts with two other things, and that is oil and water. I've got my trusty vegetable oil here, and I've also dyed my water blue with food coloring, just so it looks nicer, really. You don't actually have to do that. What we're gonna do now is pour the oil into the water. And let's see what happens. Looks kind of like a lava lamp. Uh, give it a stir. I'm using the other end of a spoon because we don't have the budget for an actual science lab here at the station. I'm working on it. But you can see here that there's pretty much no surprises that oil and water do not mix. Oil and water are what's called immiscible, which means that they do not like each other. Well, that's not technically factually true. Let me let you in on a little bit of secret. Water does not like oil. In fact, water doesn't really like anyone. The chemical bonds in a water molecule are extremely difficult to break apart. Think of kind of like that clicky group at school that excluded people and weren't that nice. That's water. So you might be thinking, what on earth does this have anything to do with an otter? Can we please get to the otters? I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Now I need you to use your imagination, just for a second. Imagine that this water here is the ocean. I mean, I've even dyed it blue to help you out. And imagine that this vegetable oil is millions and millions and millions of liters of oil that has just spilled from an oil tanker like this one. Now, because the oil is just sitting there in a layer on top, it is very easy for all kinds of animals to get caught up in it. We're talking seals, seabirds, and yes, of course, the very cute otters. I mean, otters are just there minding their own business. Did you know that they even hold each other's hands so they don't float away from each other while they're sleeping? That is the cutest thing. I could weep. But basically when they're in the wrong place at the wrong time, like an oil spill, that's when things can get very, very slippery. Get it? Slippery? Because the oil? Anyway, um, oil is basically terrible for otters. It's terrible for a lot of animals. It destroys their fur so they can no longer self-regulate their body temperatures. And when you're in the middle of a freezing ocean, that is not great news for otters. But not all is lost. This is where soap enters the picture. Think of soap as kind of like a peacemaker. You know, you've got that one friend that's always the referee in arguments, the one that's never getting into fights, making sure that everyone gets along. That's soap. So we go back to our little oil and water concoction here. We're gonna add some trusty dish soap. And we're gonna once again, stir with the back of this spoon. Ah, now we've got something happening. You have just witnessed something called an emulsification. So soap, an emulsifying agent, has effectively broken up the oil here into tiny little particles to trick water into hanging out with it. That's essentially what's happened. You know how parents put hidden vegetables in their kids' food uh, when they're not eating it? Yeah, that's kind of the same thing. And you can see that it's not perfect, but when you stir it a lot, it kind of goes into one layer, everything turns blue. So soap is doing the best job that it can do. So once again, what does this have anything to do with otters? Well, after an oil spill, conservationists and volunteers, they flock to the site to try and save as many animals that are trapped as possible. Seabirds, seals, and even otters. Remember, like before, we talked about the body temperature, the oil destroying it. Very important for this oil to come off. So what do they do? They put them in soap baths, not with this dishwashing liquid, but basically fancy soap with a lot of warm water. And sometimes it takes days or even weeks. Think of a week long bath, how wrinkly your fingers would be. It takes that long for the oil to fully come out. But when it does, it's such a beautiful sight for everyone and otters can go back to doing what they do best. And that is being cute. So there you have it. The power of simple soap to save an otter's life. Of course, it would be better to use clean energy options like wind and solar and hydropower, things that we all have available to us right now and have less of these oil tankers floating around our oceans. 
but that is a much bigger conversation for another day. Until next time, stay curious and go look at cute pictures of otters. Bye.